Aloha mai kako, mahalo for joining us for Helu Helu and Mele and Kumu Maile. Coming to you from my hale on Moloka'i. And today we're going to read this book, Opihi Baby, one of my favorites. I've had it for, I think, about seven or eight years now. When Kawahine Ilike was about three or four years old, we walked through the, book, the bookstore and the title, Opihi Baby, caught my eye. And then I started to notice the really cool artwork. So if you look closely, you'll see, like, Mama is in the rocks there. You see that? Mama's in the rocks and Baby is holding on. And so in Hawaii, we, we call babies or children that are real pili pa'a, like stuck to their family members because they love them so much, opihi baby. Because the opihi is a limpet shell that grows in the ocean on rocks. And it only likes the areas where the waves crash really hard on the rocks because they're so pa'a and stuck to the rock that they never come off no matter how rough the ocean gets. So we like to compare the babies that like to cling to us as opihi baby. I used to call all my babies that, oh this baby is so opihi. They always like be with mommy or daddy or tutu. So here's the book opihi baby. Now as I start to read, look at the pictures, look at the illustrations which were so beautifully done, written and illustrated by Jay Lovins. So they were so beautifully done that you can see all the different family members hidden in the pictures as parts of nature and then you'll see the baby too so in each picture as i read i want you to really pay, to pay attention to where the different characters are hidden and camouflaged in these paintings it's just so beautiful hey, hello hello let's read i sometimes wonder i think maybe that i gave birth to an opihi baby she clings to me like i am the reef i love knowing she needs me I am in awe with disbelief, but I can't get her off me no matter how I try. So she just sticks to me, and happily I sigh. <sighs> Can you see mommy hidden in the picture holding baby? But oh, when the doctor showed me pictures of her in my opu, what should I see? Her face pressed up against me, looking like the moon staring back at me. Do you see mama hidden in the aina, in the land, and baby? Just like the ultrasound picture? So cool, huh? When she's all curled up in a ball, her daddy doesn't have to think at all. He keeps her safe and snugly where all is well, like a tiny pink hermit crab nestled in its shell. You see daddy and baby? Her tutu will say, she's a gift from heaven. Anyone can see. She's like the morning dew in Auntie Marie's plumeria tree. Do you see Auntie Marie and baby in the pua? If my father were here, he might think that she's as delicate as the tiny bubbles in his favorite drink. <laughs> Do you see Papa hidden in the picture looking down at baby? And baby's made out of bubbles. Oh, I see lots of mea ai. What kind of ono Hawaiian food do you see? Poi, limu, poke, chicken long rice, rice, and wala, and black crab, a ama. Ooh, ka ono. Out on the beach, she would lie. She can't huli over. She can't get away. She's like the honu in the sun where they play. That's what her auntie Lani would say. How many honu do you see? Kahi elua? Try look and see if you can see Auntie Lani hidden in the picture looking at baby. Cry and hoot. It was such a fright. Her uncle Kalani would say, she's like a puel. She stays up all night only wanting to play. Do you see the puel? Count the puel. How about Uncle Kalani? Do you see Uncle Kalani looking down at baby? Her uncle Mikaele would say to me, she looks like a sumo wrestler or a bufo frog when she sleeps. See? <laughs> this is a really cool one because Uncle Mikaele's face is hidden in here and it's one of the hardest ones to find. So I really want you to take your time looking for his face. And of course you can see baby. She has an uncle Alika who would say to me, look, you can stare at her for hours. She doesn't move. She's like the mo'o in our mounted apple tree. You see the mo'o? Do you see Uncle Alika? 
hidden in the tree? How about baby? Try see how many mo'o you can find in the picture. Her sister Anella wanted a brother to squeeze and love like no other. But when she realized her new sister was such a joy, she said, Mama, she's even better than all my toys. Do you see her, Tita? Do you, do you see her sister Anella and baby? And all oh, the meapa'ani, the toys. Now, if you ask her great-grandmama what she sees, she says, He u'ike kamaiki. Just a beautiful baby. Do you see Tutu? You see Grandmama? And there's even some babies hidden in the in the picture. I'm gonna let you look at the picture real good and see if we can see all the little babies hidden in the picture. Count the babies, how many babies you see. Whether a honu, a bufo, a drop of dew, a mo'o in a tree, or what anyone sees. For me, she will always be my opihi baby. The moral of this story is simple, you see. Love our keiki no matter what they may grow up to be. Look, baby looks so malie, so peaceful, yeah? Oh, I love this ending picture too. You see the ukulele? And these cats are called maneki neko. And it's believed that um, if the cat is raising its left paw, that it means come inside my house. If it's raising, raising the right paw, it means I welcome prosperity. So let's look at the end. It has all these really cool things you can look for. I love this puke. It says, how many maneki neko are there? Let's count the maneki neko. Count with me. Ekahi, elua, ekolu, eha, elima, eonu, ehiku, evalu, eiva. Nine maneki neko. Hmm, let's see what else it asks us. Do you know why some wave hello with their right paw and some with their left? <gasps> let's read what it says. It says, Manaki Neko said to invite good luck. When its left paw is raised, it's to invite guests, like I was saying, and right paw is raised, it's to invite money or fortune. Cool fact, huh? We see them all over in restaurants all over Hawaii. Ne. And then the last part says, can you find nine number nines? Oh, I'm not going to help you with that one. You're going to have to look within this painting of baby with all the manaki neko. And there's number nines that are hidden and painted in this picture. It's like an I spy game. So much fun. So I was so inspired by this story, this puke. And I love opihi. Every time I go beach, if I see any on the sand that have washed up, I, I gather them. Um, and they're so precious. You know, we don't have as much opihi as we used to have. They're gathered irresponsibly sometimes, um, and they're really not supposed to be sold. They're sold. Um, but if they wash up on the beach or if you go gather just for your ohana, then hey, my kai loa kela. That's so my kai. Now, I did some artwork because I love opihi so much. So the opihi shell has this really cool pattern on it. And so I decided to follow this pattern and I made it different colors because. I didn't want to just stick to the black and white. But if you look at the, the slide, it shows you step by step that I took to recreate this picture. And I used watercolors. I even used like a metallic watercolor. So if you look in the sun, you can see it kind of like sparkle a little bit. It's really pretty. And I had a lot of fun making it. So I hope you're inspired by this. Make some opihi art. Go down to the beach see if you see some opihi shells up on the sand. They're just so beautiful. And remember, opihi baby, what it means, yeah? The babies that just like hold on all the time. Pili pa, just like the opihi shell. There's a really great song that was written by Ka'au Crater Boys that people in Hawaii love, I love, I grew up with, and it's called Opihi Man. So, of course, I'm going to invite Kohale to come and play the ukulele while we jam Opihi Man. And the words will come up so you can sing along with us, okay? All right, my kai. All right, look who we got here. We got Kahale. Now we can mele. So we're going to sing Opihi Man by Ka'au Creator Boys, and I want you guys to join along with me, and the lyrics are on the screen. We're going to do the three verses, and on the last lines, Opihi Man, another swell is coming your way. We're going to do it four times, and then boom, done. Okay? Take it away, Kahale. Come in, no fooling around. Opihi man 
find another spell is coming your way. Gotta fill up the bank, gotta fill up your bank with the yellow and black. Keep your eye, keep your eye on the way, don't ever turn your back. Oh, piggy man in the sun, oh, piggy man, grab your bag and run. Oh, piggy man, another spell is coming your way. Oh, piggy man, another spell is coming your way. Like the crab on the rock, like the crab on the rock. You gotta run real fast, you gotta run, you gotta run real fast. Keep your eye on the way, don't ever turn your back. Oh, be man, oh, be man in the sun. Oh, be man, grab your bag and run. Oh, be man, another swell is coming your way. Oh, be man, another swell is coming your way. One more time. Oh, be man, another swell is coming your way. Last one, hello. fun this was once my opihi baby just like the puke but now he's an opihi man <laughs> look at him so mahalo for joining us for hello hello and mele and ahui ho until next time ahui ho malama pono ahui ho malama pono ahui ho ene ahui ho ene malama pono ene ahui ho